go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Hyper Blast Buari over vandalism comment. Labels him a liar. Hyper Blast Buari over vandalism comment. Labels him a liar. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The indigenous people of the Afra, Hype Up, have lambasted President Muhammad Buhari for linking its members to pipeline vandalism. President Buhari, who responded to questions from Bloomberg, an American newspaper accused Hype Up of engaging in oil bunkering and had pleaded with the United States to name IPOP as a terrorist group. Criminality and terrorism in oil producing regions hamper production and it would help if our western allies designated IPOP as a terrorist group. Given their complicity in damage to pipelines and infrastructure, Buari stated. Reacting to the president's statement, Hypop said his remark is laughable, disgraceful, and false, exposing how uninformed he is about Nigerians' affairs. The statement by the group spokesperson Emma Powerful urged the president to disclose the location of the pipelines allegedly vandalized by IPOB. The attention of the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, Biafra IPOB ably led by our great and indefatigable leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, has been drawn to the laughable, disgraceful and fallacious statement from the supposed president of Nigeria, Major General Muhammad Buhari, alleging that IPOB is behind pipeline vandalism in the Niger Delta. For the impostor in Asorok to tell the, the U.S. and other Western countries that IPOB is responsible for pipeline vandalism in the Niger Delta shows how shallow-minded and uninformed he is. Why should he choose to further advertise his ignorance? and the failure of his government in credible intelligence gathering by making such laughable white and untenable allegations. Muhammad Buhari should tell America and other western countries the locations of pipelines hyper vandalized in their evil country. The allegation against IPO by Burari is childish because every because everybody knows that IPO does not engage in pipeline vandalism in Nigeria. Even the international community knows that IPO does not involve in such acts.
Maybe the Fulani controlled federal government of Buari doesn't know that the West is not staffed and uninformed as he and his fellow clueless kleptomaniacs are. Otherwise, he would not have made such embarrassing factless claims. The statement read. The indigenous people of Biafra, hype up, have lambasted President Muhammadu Buhari for linking its members to pipeline vandalism. President Buhari, who responded to questions from Bloomberg, an American newspaper accused IPOB of engaging in oil bunkering and had pleaded with the United States to name IPOB as a terrorist group. Criminality and terrorism in oil producing regions, AMPA production, and it would help if our Western allies designated IPOB as a terrorist group, given their complicity in damage to pipelines and infrastructure, Buari stated. Reacting to the president's statement, IPOB said his remark is laughable disgraceful and false, exposing how uninformed he is about Nigerians' affairs. A statement by the group's spokesperson, Emma Powerful, urged the president to disclose the location of the pipelines allegedly vandalized by IPOB. The attention of the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, ably led by our great and indefatigable leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, has been drawn to the laughable, disgraceful and fallacious statement from the supposed president of Nigeria, Major General Muhammad Buhari, retired, alleging that Hypop is behind pipeline vandalism in the Niger Delta. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news.